Space Explorers Between the Lines. Three, two, one, go! Quarterfinal two, match two underway. Advantage blue. Robots looking to score as many unopposed points in this mat, in this sandstorm period as possible. Parallel Universe dropping down a cargo. 219 scoring a hatch for blue. Red with the advantage. Parallel Universe zipping across the field for the Red Alliance, dropping a cargo down. That's a three pointer. Team Impact also trying to drop three points into the cargo ship. Nicely done. Just under two minutes left. Here goes Mort Beta and Parallel Universe back and forth, one after another. 19.23, it's their time, it's midnight, dropping down three points. All black, everything anodized for superior performance. The team from Bolton, Massachusetts, Bo sponsored, making a ruckus on that rocket. Dropping down a hatch panel. Red Alliance with the lead, 38 to 27. Team Mercury, 1089, over in the corner for the Blue Alliance, far side, human loader station, trying to get loaded up with a hatch panel. It's a little askew on their mechanism, but not stopping them from going for the second shelf on the rocket. Trying to rock it, making it work, dropping it down for the Blue Alliance. Nine point game with 60 seconds left to go in the round. Red Alliance continuing to fill up their cargo ship. 1923 now sets their sight on the middle tier of the rocket. Boom. That's one shot in to the second level by 1923. Here comes Mark Beta with a three-point piece of cargo if they can manage to score it. Their partner, Team Impact for the Blue Alliance, getting set up for the ramps. It's time for endgame, baby. 51 to 43. Red with the advantage. Eight-point game. There goes 1089 depositing more cargo. They might try to grab the express train if they can get there in 18 seconds. 1089 is up, trying to get lined up. They don't want to fall off the platform. 10 seconds to go. More beta going to level two. 1089 looking to join number three. Wheels off the ground as time runs out. 